In today's demonstration, I'll be showing you how we can use TestQuest 10's project editor with Iron Python and Eclipse. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably already familiar with both Iron Python and Eclipse, so I won't show you how to set up those tools. However, I will mention that I do have PyDev installed. PyDev is just the Python IDE for Eclipse. The first thing you'll see is I have Eclipse open here. I have a basic project called My Tests, and this has one file called main, and that main just has one function. All it's going to do is print hello world. I can go ahead and run this, say run as Iron Python, and as you can see, all it does is print hello world down here at the bottom. So this is a very basic project so far. Um, what I want to do next is I actually want to make it so I can call my test quest 10 resources using this Iron Python script. So for that, I'm going to open up the project editor. I have a drop down here. This shows all my devices that I currently have set up. And I have my standard tools. I have a device pane. Click on the device pane. This is just going to give me a preview of my current device. As you can see, this is my Android Evo 4G phone. And I can interact with it using this screen. So I can click on this little contacts icon down here. And it's actually going to launch the contacts app. And I can send keys like the home key. That's going to go back to the home screen of my device. That's pretty simple. And I also have the TestQuest asset editor. And the asset editor just gives us a list of all the resources that we have defined for our device. For example, I've created a resource called contacts icon. That's just this little icon down here in the bottom left. I can say test search and it's going to go ahead and find this icon anywhere on the screen. And as you can see, it found it down here in the bottom left. For today's test, I'm going to show you a recording I've already made. I'm going to open up my recording. And this recording is pretty simple. All this is going to do is it's going to open up this little contacts application and it's going to add a new contact to my list. As you can see in my recording here, the first thing it's going to do, say it clicks the contact icon. I'll go ahead and play this back. I'll just explain as it goes. So first thing, I'll click the contact icon. Next thing it's going to do is click the add contact button, which is this little button right here. After that, it's going to find the name field and click inside of it. And that's this field up here. It's going to type the word test quest, which it, which it did. It's going to click the OK button. And it's going to do a little swipe. This swipe is going to bring up the save and cancel button. And it's going to click the save button. And once it's saved, you can see we have a new contact in our list. This new contact is just called test quest. That's all recording is going to do for today. Now, one thing I do want to point out, I've actually defined a new region. I'll show you that region now. I've called that region the context region. This is just a region that shows all my contacts. And in my code, what I want to do is I want to read all these contacts, and I'm going to print them out to the screen. So I'll be using this later on in my test. So for now, I'm going to delete that test quest contact. We don't need it anymore. I'm going to use my finger to delete it. Yep, I'm sure. OK, now we'll go back to the home screen. Now what I want to do next is I want to play back this recording from within inside Eclipse. So for that, I'll move this out of the way. And re remember, this recording is named Add Contact. I'm going to go back to Eclipse. I'm going to start typing some code. The first thing we want to do is tell Python that we're using .NET libraries. And for that, we can just say import CLR. And then we want to tell it to use the TestQuest API. For that, I'm just going to do CLR.addReference. And I'm going to add the TestQuest API. And I've also said to import a couple different resources as well. Then, of course, the first thing we always do, we set up our test quest context. And then after that, we're actually going to connect out to my Android Evo 4G device. This is the same device I had opened the project editor. All I'm doing here is saying context.loadTarget and loading up my Android Evo 4G device. And then I want to load that recording that I made. And I go ahead and open that here. I can say recording equals load recording, loading the add contact. And then I want to run that recording. So here I can just say recording.run. I'm going to run this against my Android target that I loaded up here. And after it's finished reading, I want to actually look at that contacts region. Remember to find that contacts region in the project editor. That contacts region is just a list of all my contacts. Here you can see it. I have this region called contacts. This is just going to allow me to read all the contacts in this list. So I'll go ahead and read that text. So I'm going to say text is equal to, I'm going to read the screen. And I'm going to read only that small context region. Now let's use default text read settings. And after that's finished, I'm going to print out all my context that I can see. And that'll be the end of my test. I'm going to make sure my device is back in the right state. I'll go back to my home screen. I can close the asset editor. One thing I will do, I will launch a device pane so you can watch this test as it runs. So now I'm just going to right click on the main. I'm going to say run as Iron Python. As you can see down here at the bottom, it's actually loading my Evo 4G device. So I'm going to click on this contacts icon. You'll see this device pane reflect that in just a minute here. There's loaded the contacts up. It's going to add a new contact. You can see I clicked in the name field. It's going to type the word test quest. After that, I click the OK button. 
It's gonna do that swipe and click save. We can see it saving it. Now we have that new test quest contact in our list. And of course, the next thing we do in, in our script here is we said to read that text out of this area here. And we looked down here, and it finished reading that text. And we can see it read me, which is right here, and contact card, contact one, friend number two, and test quest, which is exactly what we see on the screen here. So there you have it. We flipped back a simple test quest 10 recording and called some very simple test quest commands using Iron Python and Eclipse. If you'd like to see more about test quest 10, please visit us on the web at www.testquest.com. Thanks for watching.